Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Zidi. In today's video, again, talking about Bitcoin blockchain and life. I have five amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a trading tip. I have a travel tip. Uh, I'm going to talk about the news. I have beautiful news items. Of course, also answering one of the questions of the followers. And yes, ending the video with a beautiful inspirational quote here from my new garden in the new house. We will be staying for some time. Beautiful house, guys with a beautiful pool and of course with an amazing view check that view very beautiful view guys it's a very modern house the first time since a very long time we have a very modern house but really cool uh, let's jump into the charts quickly to show you exactly what is happening to bitcoin today the first chart for today guys is this four hour chart like always uh, look how again we found support in the red box the red box has been on our chart now for a very long time for the ones that are watching my videos daily uh, we again found support on that midline of the red box which is the area of 60k 60k becoming a very important area of support of course, yes, I see all the inferences and I agree if we break this area, then the next area support always would be like here, of course, at 52k area. Uh, yes, that is true. That is the next area support. But then we still need to break this area of support. Um, if you look at the chart, then it looks like we broke that green line over there, that area. And that is true. But if you look at all the wicks that we had, then we should draw the line over here with all those wicks. And we are still finding support above these wicks. So yes, uh, not perfectly, again, sloppy hands, but that's how I uh, draw. So yes, indeed, it is still support, but it's becoming very, very important that we go up from here. If not, that we could fall to lower. But let's zoom out and look at the daily chart so you can see why I do think that we could hold this level of support still, okay? Now, we go to the day chart. It is this one. On this day chart, I will draw a trend line, but I will first zoom out a little bit. Let me see over here. Let's take it all the way back here to October uh, in 2023. If we take this line over there like that, just the bodies of those candles. Oh, okay, maybe this one should be adjusted a little bit to really to the body, something like this. And we can see that this trend line that we started to follow since October essentially since September, sideways, uh, that, that we are going to go and retest that line probably. And that line at the moment here is around 58, 59K. So that is the area I think that the biggest area of support will be. It's very important to understand that the moment that we go sideways, like over here, we create, of course, a support area over there. Then we go up. Again, we go sideways over there. Look, I mean, again, we create a support area again at that line. Now again, we are going sideways over here. Will we again create a support area at that line somewhere over there, which would be about 58, 59K. So that's why I always zoom out. I want to see what happens. If the Bitcoin price would go to those levels, so for example, if we go, would go to this line over here and then bounce again and bounce up from there again to these levels and go sideways, sideways, sideways and keep holding that support, uh, that line of support, that will be, of course, very good. So yes, short term could be volatile, short term we could drop to 58k. I don't see 52k yet, I just want to see the chart confirming that. When we keep support at these levels, it will be another run to a higher high and again sideways for some time before we go even higher again. If we look at the monthly chart, guys, we can see that the monthly candle closed yesterday. Uh, we had an open price of 71,296. We had a closing price of 60,632. Uh, so I think it's uh, around 10K drop, around 15% drop. Now, to be honest, I told yesterday in a video, and this monthly close is going to be very important because it will show us something. There was also a question of one of the followers, what did it show us? Now, it shows us that we had a massive run that we need to like have a retrace to continue the run. Let's go back into the past, to this area where we are now, around the halving. Over here, this was the halving in May 2020. Just look what happened. We had the halving, which was a green month. The month after was a red month. We needed a retrace. Even during that bull market, we went up, 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 there was a red month. That red month didn't mean that we stopped the bull market, 
it meant we needed to breathe and take some more liquidity at those bottom prices to go up. And don't be fooled because this red candle also opened at 11,000 and it closed around 10,000. So that was a 10% drop also, that small candle. If you look to that previous 2017 bull market, this is the halving. Before we had green candles, two red candles during and after the halving, green candles, again a red candle, green candle, again a red candle. It is impossible to do or make a bull market without 20% dips. It is impossible. We need these dips during a bull market. So don't freak out, zoom out. We are just around the halving, just around this red line over there. Bam, massive run. Red line over there. Bam, massive run. Every time we have a red line, bam, massive run. This is that red line. This is a very healthy retrace. Now let's jump into some more interesting charts over here. This one is also showing you exactly what I just said to you guys. Would it even be a bull market without 20% pullbacks? Every red arrow was a 20% or bigger pullback. One bigger pullback in 2016, two, three, four, five, six, seven pullbacks in that bull market. Did we freak out? No, we zoomed out. We took the profits around that top when there was a reversal. Over again here, the next bull market, one, two, three, four pullbacks, bigger than 20%. At the moment, already one, two, three, four pullbacks, bigger than 20%. These pullbacks, these dips, are part of a bull market. They need to be there. And they are there for you to buy the dip. Stop crying, start buying. This isn't crypto, but it's a very interesting chart to see. Uh, the percentage of change of home buyers since 2015. Now, in 2015, the green line, there were the first time home timers, first time home buyers, was still kind of equal with the repeat home buyers and the investors. Look what happened. The first time home buyers that dropped with more than 20%. There is no first time home buyers anymore. Why not? Because all the investors and the repeat home buyers are buying up these houses. The first time home buyers don't even get a mortgage anymore because there is inflation, because there is debt, there is too many loans that they own, there is not enough income compared to the house that they want to buy because the housing became a little bit more expensive. So these first time home buyers are dropping. The investors are increasing. It's a very interesting chart. I hope that these first time home buyers are all buying Bitcoin and indeed understand that the buying of real estate will never give you the return on investment like, the bit, like Bitcoin does. So these first time home buyers shouldn't be sad. They should be happy. Stop buying houses, start buying Bitcoin. Then we have this chart. It's a little bit dark chart. I hope you can see it. But this one is showing us the crypto asset users and the trajectory that we are now following. If we keep following this trajectory, guys, it means that we could reach a billion crypto users, a billion crypto users in 2026. That's a billion crypto users. We started with zero. In 15 years time, we were able to almost reach 1 billion crypto users. So it's very interesting to see that yes, adoption is happening very slowly and it will take another like two years, but after two years, we will have like a billion users using crypto. That is insane if you think about that. A couple of years ago, we couldn't even dream about those numbers. Then again, a chart to show you um, that yes, we are still the bull market, 2011 and 12. 2014 and 16, 2019 and 20, 2022 to 2024. That is also how you could look at the chart. This was a double top. Maybe, bam, we will get a huge top now over here. This was a small top, huge top over there. This was a small top, bam, up over there. You can look at the charts in different ways, but all of those ways tell us we are not yet at the bull market top. We are just getting started. And how could this now evolve? If you, for example, look at the weekly chart, I really liked this chart that was created by Seth Finn. Because yes, of course, this is how a bull market looks. We go up and we come down. And then we go up and we will come down. And we will go up and we will come down. And we will go up and somewhere 
in 2025, between September and December, my honest opinion, we will reach a top. I don't think the top will be over here. I think the top will be somewhere between 140 and 160, something, maybe 120 to 160, that area. But this is how a bull market works. All the time, we go up, we come down. 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 We go up. It's just how the bull market works. Don't fight it, enjoy it. I hope you really enjoyed those charts again, guys. Yes, a massive area of support at 60K. If we drop, if we drop below 60K with daily candles, guys, that means we could go to the next level of support at 52K. That's a very big drop. I don't see this happening. I think 60K is a huge area of support at the moment, and I hope we will return very soon. But just to be very clear, if we lose this support, we could drop all the way to 52K, guys. That would be the ultimate dip for Bitcoin and would be the ultimate chance for people to still step in at 52,000 US dollar. But guys, please keep dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin because before you know it, we go against, against what everyone expects. Everyone is talking about 52K. We will go against that and bang, we will pump to 70K and 80K before you know it. And then you are not in Bitcoin because you were waiting for that 52K dip. Keep dollar cost averaging. That's my advice in this moment in the bull cycle. Keep dollar cost averaging. We are in that area where we have been before. Fighting resistance, making support of our resistance. And when we break that resistance, we will go again to a new all-time high. So zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at that bigger picture and try to zoom in that life. Enjoy every single minute of the day without freaking out about those minute charts. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today is always look for support and resistance areas. Just like I just showed you in the charts, there's a lot of support at 60K. The next support is, yes, exactly at 52K. There's a lot of resistance at 67K, at 70K, and at 75K. After those levels, we might explode very easily to 80K, 85K, even 90K because there is no resistance above those levels. We created that resistance when we did visit 73K in like a month ago. So the support and resistance level should always be should always be on your chart, especially the long-term support and resistance area that you can see, for example, on the daily on the weekly chart. These areas are always very important to keep an eye on. And how can you do that in a very simple way to use the Fibonacci retracement tool? That one calculates automatically where the support and resistance areas will be after a huge run or after a huge dump. It's very simple. Do your own research, educate yourself about the Fibonacci retracement tool, and you will understand exactly where the support and resistance area are. You can also, of course, very simple see them on the charts. If you look at the charts and you can see, hey, we hit a certain level a lot of times, that is the resistance. Or we come down to a certain level a lot of times, that's the support. It's not that difficult. Try it for yourself. Try to educate yourself as much as possible on these levels. Guys, my travel tip for today is see view beats everything. You can have a very beautiful house in the middle of the town, which is very beautiful because you can walk onto the boulevard and you can have a cup of coffee and you can walk to other shops and to all the restaurants and everything else. But for me, see view beats everything. Just check this view, guys. Isn't it amazing to wake up like that every morning? I'm waking up over there in that bedroom with this view. I just love sea view. I don't know what it is, it gives me this special feeling. I will turn around the camera and check. It just gives me that special feeling every day again to see the sun rising, to see the sea. I get calm of it. And it's a very beautiful area here in Gafea, Spain. Check how beautiful. So, the travel tip for today is always book something with sea view, even if it's far from the center. You know, it's good because we need to walk downhill it's good for the legs or uphill it's also very good for the legs but we will get very tired uh, you also have a car of course and we can drive to the center but it's just amazing i don't know what it's that's magic all those colors in the sky in the morning in the late evening when the sun goes down you have this beautiful sky again yeah it's just a uh, sea view for me is just very important i don't know what it is but every time when i'm near the sea 
I feel just a little bit more zen, just a little bit more relaxed, just a little bit more chill. The sea is just very important for me. I don't know what it is. So you're during your travels, please book something with Sea View, even if it's a little bit more expensive, just to try it out. How does Sea View work on you? Uh, the apartment that we have in Torre Vieja, amazing Sea View here also. Beautiful Sea View. Last night when it was dark, you could see the whole city light up. It was amazing. It's just amazing to have Sea View in my house opinion. Uh, and I just love this garden. But I will make a video about the house uh, today or tomorrow together with Jessa because it's a beautiful house uh, with a gym and everything in it. So uh, we will see the house a little bit more later. Bam. Then answering two questions of the followers. Uh, there was one question yesterday. It was a remark. It was a really beautiful one. He said, Didi, I want to remind you, you can see it over here, that we have never gone below the halving price after a bull market. Because I said in yesterday's video, maybe the bottom will be next time 40k or 50k. But if you look back in history indeed, we have never gone with the bear market bottom lower than the price that we had at the halving. And the price that we had at the halving at this time was 63,000 US dollar. So it could mean that if this bull market plays out like always, that the bottom will never be lower than 63,000 again, which means that buying around 61k during these dips is even cheaper then you will be able to buy the bottom in the next bear market after this bull market ends. So thank you for contributing and uh, sharing this with us. Indeed, we have never gone below the halving price. So maybe, maybe, maybe 63K will be the bear market bottom of 26, 27. Amazing times ahead for Bitcoin. Be sure you buy these dips. And the second question was, Didi, why is it that you have like relatively not that many followers as all the other influencers? Uh, there is a few reasons for this probably. Maybe I'm not as good as all those others. But the main reason I think is that I have decided to never buy followers or marketing. So I, I think that other influencers have done that because I can't even explain why else we would only have 75k followers while we were in the news worldwide. We have been in six documentaries. We now have our own series on Amazon Prime. We have been in newspapers, news articles all over the world every year, a year again, and again, and again. And we still got stuck around 70k followers, but I'm very happy with those 70k followers because I know they are real 70k followers that really have the intention to watch my videos and they understand what I'm talking about so I think that is one of the parts and the second part is I'm one of the older influencers I'm not talking about Lamborghinis I'm not talking about big villas I'm not talking about spending a shitload of bitcoins I'm talking about true fundamentals and core fundamentals of Bitcoin I'm not talking about a lot of altcoins or shit coins yeah I talk about fiat and dollar because I'm gonna trash that shit coin the fiat and dollar but just I don't spend too much attention to all the other things in this industry aside of Bitcoin so the most young people want to see people earning Lamborghinis, want to see people with expensive watches and $1 million jackets and whatever they people are all dying. That's what the young people want to see. I don't want to focus on that category. I want to focus on the serious people that really want to change their life. They really want to understand how it is as a family to travel. That really want to understand what a Bitcoin life really means, unbanked, traveling the world, and that Bitcoin is the real and only king when it comes to investing in assets like cryptocurrencies. So I think those are the reasons for our Channel, not to grow as fast as all the others but I'm very happy where we are we are at 75,000 uh, subscribers we were at like thousand subscribers like four or five years ago so we grew tremendously and it's real followers that really like our content so I'm very happy I'm very thankful of course I wish we would reach 100k subscribers this bull market let's see maybe we can reach 75k before Bitcoin and then maybe we can reach 100k subscribers before Bitcoin reaches those prices uh, thanks for the questions uh, leave me new questions down below so I can answer them again tomorrow. The news for today is that CZ from Binance was sentenced to four months prison in the United States. Four months prison. Why was he sentenced to four months? Because he didn't implement AML at Binance, anti-money laundering rules, guys. So um, that is why he has now four months prison, sentenced to four months prison. He already paid billions of dollars to be able to walk on the streets instead of in prison, and now he needs to still go four months into prison. So my question now to you is, if CZ of Binance, just a cryptocurrency exchange that didn't do his steps on time, but he still did the steps, you know, but he was not on time. If he goes to prison for four months, how many bankers or wankers, however you call them, should be in prison at this moment? Do you really believe that all those banks have AML? 
Of course, the big banks have, but all the small banks in all the countries, all the world, they all, do you think, have like AML? Do you don't think that the banks were used for money laundering? All of those bank people should be in prison. If CZ goes to prison, all of those bank CEOs should be in prison because all of the banks have once been used to launder money. There is not one bank that was not used for money laundering. Like, even look at the President of the United States. Even he and his son, even they money laundered through all the United States banking system. They money laundered all Chinese money into the United States. That's the biggest amount of money laundering that we have seen in history. These guys are the President of the United States. They're walking free. If that is not money laundering, what Biden has done, then definitely what CZ has done is not money laundering. He's, he is creating a platform for people to trade in cryptocurrency. And he's not supporting money laundering. Yes, his platform was not updated correctly in time um, to prevent as much as possible money laundering, but still. The cryptocurrency market is such a small market if you compare it to that huge banking market. That is all money laundering from China to the United States, from all the world to the United States, all those dollars, all those shitcoin dollars. Even the president was involved with it. Is he going to prison? No, he isn't. That's all being put down the table. Nobody can hear about that anymore. Yeah, that was not true. That was this, that was that. No, the laptop of Hunter Biden did not prove that. That was like all made up by all those conspiracy theorists. No, it were facts. It were facts and it's still facts. They did and also money launder a shitload of money and they are still walking there free, even pretending to be the president that cannot walk anymore. So in my opinion, CZ and Binance should not have been fined, should not have been received like four months jail time, all that stuff. It's just a ridiculous for words. I just don't understand how that can be possible. But there is a difference between a cool guy that is supporting the evolution of a new technology. Again, one of those persons goes into jail. As Ross Elbrick going to jail for a lifetime. After Sam Bankman going into jail for what, 30 years. Now CZ for four months. Please put all those CEOs of all those banks that supported all those criminals in jail now directly because they built something, the banking system, that was supporting criminals, that was supporting money laundering. Put them in jail as well. That's my answer to the news for today. Friendly news, isn't it? <laughs>
life isn't as serious as your mind makes it out to be because it's the mind only the mind that is making everything very serious your own mind those two voices that i told you a few times already sit back lean back and enjoy those two voices discussing but don't listen to them you are the observer of those two voices and you'd make your own decisions after you saw the discussion don't take those two voices serious and that's also what you should do with all the opinions about all the people around you don't take them all too serious observe them listen to them learn of them but make your own choices and if you don't want to treat life as serious as all those other people treat life then don't treat life too serious walk through life with joy walk through life with happiness walk through life with positivity not with being serious all the time and taking everything too serious so that's my inspirational quote for today chill zoom out enjoy life to the fullest every single minute of the day i think that's way more important than taking everything too serious I hope you really enjoyed today's video again. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about our new house, our new views, all the tips, all the charts? Let me know down below and see you tomorrow again. Bam.